On our last episode of Sailing Britican, I introduced you to the four crew that joined us on an open passage from St. Martin heading for America. We left St. Martin hoping to take a week to get to Rhode Island. We prepared the boat and headed out to sea, got the sails up and aimed north. For the first four days we had wind. We were making good progress and even managed to catch dinner. And then the wind stopped and so did we. In this video we'll cover the rest of our voyage, find out how long it took us to get to the States and where we ended up. These are pecan tassies, my wife made them, and it's something that she likes to make on Derby Day. So today's Derby Day, so we're eating pecan tassies. Yeah, and they are delicious. They certainly are, one for two. Yeah, <coughs> thanks. It's uh, uh, 2100 hours approximately on Saturday, May the 7th, and um, we just discovered the uh, bilge pump has gone off, so they've the boys are up and having a look around, raising the floor, see if we can locate where the potential leak may be. And I think I just heard Len call and say that he's found it. But anyway, we'll get back to you, let you know what's happening. So we're uh, getting calls from the guys downstairs, searching that they believe they've located it. So we had a little bit of a leak in a mixing valve that goes to the exhaust. So John's climbing in there, trying to throw some tape on it. It's really hard. I'm in the right spot there. It looks like you are from here, yeah. I'm going to have a look at the oh, shot. So Simon was just checking fuel to see how much we have. 725 litres left. I think we're okay. I think we're fine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my engine pen. I was actually trying to check the fuel and I heard the bilge go off and I emptied the bilge out earlier. So that's why we found out there was a, a leak. Because normally when we check the engine on this side, sometimes it's a little difficult to find out where, the, um, where we checked. We couldn't see the water dripping out. And when we came on the other side, we found it. It's not, not under pressure, so what we've done, we've, we've wrapped some amalgamated tape around it, tied it off, and it's a temporary measure. We're gonna be, we've got another 14 hours before we get into Georgetown. And then once the engine's cooled off, Monday morning, we'll take it all off and take it into Georgetown. And Len knows some people over uh, that uh, did some welding for them there last time. So we'll get it all welded up and, um, and then I'll fabricate a new one when I get a place where I can do that. We've been at sea for so long. So, so long. All right, so it's uh, 12 o'clock right now. It's pretty much the end of my shift. I've been checking the water leak every 30 minutes. It's been pretty calm out. Water leak's been holding. The uh, tape that John put on is working. Simon's taken over for me. And I'm gonna get some shut-eye. But it's been pretty good out tonight. It's uh, 1.30 in the morning. We're just passing Long Island. We've probably got about less than 12 hours to go to Georgetown. We've had an interesting night uh, with a leak. and uh, But we sorted it. Hopefully we'll get it sorted out uh, on Monday. It's uh, Sunday morning now. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to just getting drop the hook and uh, relax for a little bit. Been a good trip, though. Been a good trip. It's about uh, 5.30 in the morning, it came on watch at uh, 4, about 5, a uh, little after that I noticed we had some wind, so I uh, pulled the engine back to idle and see if we could sail uh, shortly within seconds that or after, Simon come running up to see what was wrong, but everything's all well, we 
put the uh, Geno out and uh, we're making uh, good speed now just about as fast as we were doing with the motor so nice to give the motor a rest and I can see the sun starting to come up and uh, it looks to be a nice day we've got uh, 14 more miles to go before we turn uh, back west to uh, head into uh, our next stop and uh, we'll check in later it's Sunday what time is it it's uh, 5 to 11 Sunday we're about is it what day is it the 8th it's the 8th Josh told me uh, we're four miles from coming into the entrance to Georgetown we're gonna come in there and uh, anchor up we're just doing a good clean at the moment upstairs and downstairs and then we're gonna take the part off the engine which needs repair we're gonna check it and see what needs to be done then uh, get ready to uh, book ourselves in and then have a couple of drinks I think, I think we deserve it after a week of sailing so we're just pulling into Georgetown Ryan and I are up here spotting the water looking for obstacles we're running a marked chart Dolphins came to Mongolus as we came in Hello. So Len's coming in to take all the glory, because I've because I've taken two off and he's going to take the last one. Off. You've taken one off. You stop that. Uh, yeah, but I was in there when it was really hot. You're exaggerating, Simon. <laughs> you liked it when it was really hot. In the I did. It's like a sauna. Okay, so there is it. We got the okay. uh, pipe off. Uh, there's the little hole there. there, but it looks like it's been fixed up hard. before. As long as Jock shuts up and I can finish the video, <laughs> I'm going to try and get him to fabricate a new one and also repair this one because I just don't know what their welding is like. So I'm going to get him to repair this one and ask as it is a spare and then we'll put the new one on. We got it spot welded and tested and it's working fine. We've put it back on and fingers crossed it's worked brilliantly so far and it's going to keep working but I still haven't got it fabricated I'm just waiting to do that so we're pulling the wash the new washing machine out again while we were uh, sailing along it uh, we did some washes and this is the detergent, so it wouldn't detergent. fill up Pills, on the rinse bit, so, so we so had to keep hitting the button we okay. checked for Seems kinks uh, no kinks in the pipes uh, we've taken it there's two filters on it on the pipe so we've taken one of the filters the out and we'll see if this works. Here you go. Right. Here we are in uh, Georgetown uh, making our uh, maybe third or fourth attempt to resolve the issues associated with the new Samsung washing machine. We have finally narrowed it down to the water supply and lack of uh, pressure from the water supply. So now that we found that, we're going to start tracing the water uh, back to the pump to see whether or not there's any issues associated with the piping. Now here's a picture of the filter that we removed from the inlet pipe and this uh, filter was at the inbound side of the pipe oh, so it was uh, oh, not thought that we would have a filter at that point as there was two other filters on the, on the pipe system between uh, the water pump and the uh, washing machine. And as you can see from this, it's only about 5% clear. So this appears to be the problem. At the present moment, we're running a test cycle and everything is going as according to Samsung's plan. What we're doing is we're coming out of uh, Georgetown and it's very shallow, especially for us on, with a deep keel. And I'm following um, a, a track that I've put in as we came in. So I've got two guys up at the front, they're checking out to see if there's any boats out there because I can't see anything, I'm just staring at this and I've got Jock over here and I've got John, he's looking on his iPad to make sure that I'm following the track. So if this one goes down we have a, we have a secondary one and then we have a third one so it's a little scary. <laughs> So I just took over watch. It's about midnight right now, and uh, we're in 20 knots of wind, going 7-3. Everything's good, nice and quiet.
To find out the exact steps that Simon and the crew on Britikin prepared for their long sailing passage from St. Martin to the USA, head over to sailingbritikin.com to review the long sailing passage preparation checklist. So here we are coming into Staniel Key. And what we're going to do here is we're going to fuel up because there's no wind and then we're going to stay for the day have a quick look at the pigs so here we are coming into the fuel dock it's quite difficult to get in because there was quite a crosswind and it's on pylons as you can see so we had to make sure that we were mostly fended up and we came in really nice and easy and slowly mid section look at the fenders lined up with the pilings what a job captain excellent so here we are at uh, Vidal Baboon's uh, <laughs> hey, salon, all about a Britikin. 10 to 6, uh, I was on at 6, uh, Ryan came to get me about 20 minutes ago. I just here is a little white light. It's a local ferry uh, transport uh, ship of the uh, Bahamas and he was really worried. He couldn't fit it on AIS. He couldn't, he couldn't understand the lights. I came up, had a quick look. I couldn't understand the lights either. It was just three random white lights everywhere. Couldn't see any nav lights. So I did a, like a, a minute where I saw if, is it, if it's in the same position uh, on the boat as I didn't move and it was exactly the same. So we had to do evasive action and he was within 300 yards and as we were going side to side within a hundred yards I could just make the faintest green nav light you know it does uh, grip me a little bit when uh, they don't uh, put the nav lights on or anything you could see it when you got to within 200 yards not two nautical miles which you're supposed to but all's well and uh, we missed him so but he didn't move and I bet he's asleep probably Doing a uh, three o'clock in the morning watch, uh, very Blair Witchy looking with this plotter light in my face. But uh, out here watching a, a lightning storm, it's been uh, bouncing off our port side and lots of flashes, and it's pretty cool actually. But it's it's far enough away; you don't hear the thunder, so it's not overly uh, creepy. Um, had a great sail, had an awesome trip. Left St. Martin almost a week ago. I don't know. <laughs> it's all blending into one long crazy day. Uh, been fantastic weather, fantastic sailing. Had the motor in the last couple of days, but uh, well worth it. We could gladly jump on this boat anytime and go for a trip. So, uh, Britikin's amazing. It was a lot of fun, and I wouldn't hesitate to do it many, many more times. And yeah, we're currently anchored at Egg Island in the Bahamas. Uh, just put down the anchor at about, uh, I don't know, five, seven meters, and that all went well. Anyway, uh, it looks nice out here tonight. It's beautiful. Uh, we haven't seen a ship all day because the area we came through is too shallow for ships, but we do see a cruise ship off in the distance. And uh, had a bit of storms, but uh, just a little rain on us, so it wasn't too bad. Most of it was off uh, to our distance. And I uh, had a really good day. Pretty smooth and not much action, so uh, that's always a good thing. It's a boat, and as we were Coming in, I noticed, I went to the bathroom and I noticed there was water in, on the floor in the toilet. Just pressed the grey water pump and it didn't go down. Tried to figure out what it is, we found out which pipe it was. There must have been something, potentially crustaceans underneath has gone into. And what we did was we used that pump onto a pump where we just build up pressure, build up pressure and suddenly it went... And then loads of bubbles were coming up the side and we just filled up the uh, bottom of that and it's worked. So I'm going to go get a beer now because the boys are already at about three ahead of me. We've got our last day with a whole crew tomorrow which is going to be a sad day because three of them have to go back because we have no wind and we just can't go up there because there's a storm up on the east coast. So John's taking us out. We stayed in here overnight. Len's on the phone at the back there trying to get hold of immigration because we're going to drop these guys off. Hey, Jock there with his trusty steed. Uh, look at it, it's just stunning here. Hey, we had a really quiet night. So Ryan, it's your, we've got 24 hours left. How's it been? Oh, it's been great. It's been a really fun trip. We experienced a lot of really cool things. So what was your favorite thing? Oh gosh, what was the name of the, uh, 
place we slept over. Hogsty Reef. Hogs. Yeah, Hogsty Reef. That what? was pretty awesome. Yeah. And you had a fear. Do you remember what it was? Not enough wind, I think, was it. Yeah. And guess what? Didn't get a whole lot of wind. No. <laughs> <laughs> Would you come again? Oh, definitely. This is, uh, what, my third time on the boat and definitely would do it again and recommend it to anybody. Yeah, we'd love to have you back. Have you enjoyed it? Have I enjoyed it? Yes, on the whole I've enjoyed it. The first couple of days I found it probably a little tough. Yeah, you were feeling very well. You were quite seasick, weren't you? Yeah, I was quite seasick. So it was over within maybe 36 hours. Yeah, because we were actually going to take you into uh, port yeah, you... and maybe uh, drop you off, but yeah, halfway there the you'd find a lot better, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, so what's been the highlight of your trip? I don't think there's any one particular thing I would say had been a highlight. What I've really enjoyed is the is the whole experience, just uh, soaking in the what's required, if you like, not just from a point of view of sailing, which we haven't done a lot of, just the activities required, the maintenance of the broken machinery, and, and the camaraderie with the rest of the, uh, the crew. It's, uh, it's all been a great experience, actually. Well, thank you for coming along, and you can come down any time you want. Okay. Thanks, I'll thanks be, Jock. I'll be here next week. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, how's it going? Great sailing. First, uh, first four days was amazing. The weather was fantastic, but despite that, even with the motoring, we've just been in so many great places. It never goes as planned, so it was par for the course. <laughs> it was, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. What was the uh, highlight of your trip? Oh, man, the first four days of just being having sails up and no engines running was definitely one of the best things. Hogstay Reef was cool, never been there before. Thank you for taking us there. No worries. Um, Britic in itself, of course, is such an amazing boat. She's such a pleasure to sail, so getting to helm her and control her is always a treat. Thanks for coming along. Yeah, I'll do it anytime. Cheers, Thanks for mate. having me. Yeah, no worries. Right. Thanks, bed partner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're here at West End. We've just fueled up and uh, we've been told to move it to where the customs building, which is that yellow building over there. So we're just walking it back. Saving fuel. Seven bucks a gallon, so we should. Yeah. Oh, it's six eleven here. Ooh, got a bargain. So we had a chat with the guys, and uh, they wanted to carry on going to Jacksonville. So we uh, booked out and then uh, made our way to Jacksonville. Okay, so us guys have just been talking. I've never seen the Atlantic look like this. It's amazing. So in Jacksonville, Ryan, Jock, and Len left us, and John's son. Chris joined us. Here we are on our final leg. Uh, it's just John and I up here. Chris is downstairs and uh, over there is an unlit navy platform, isn't it? Yes. And it's bright yellow. And it, but it has a whistle on it. It's that calm, I've done some washing. <laughs> day 15. This might be our last morning that we wake up for sun. We're possibly getting in at about two, three o'clock in the morning to uh, Wrightsville, Bill. Wrightsville Beach, which is next to Wilmington. Uh, there's no space for us in Wilmington, so we're just going to go there. It's been an eventful trip, a little ups and downs, but we've had some great laughs, seen some fantastic things, and we're just getting loads of dolphins at the moment, which is fantastic. So, uh, yeah, good. The other crew have left and uh, your son's joined us uh, for the last leg. How's it been? It's been great. We've had uh, a lot of fun. We've seen a lot of really cool spots. Get a good feeling of what uh, being at sea for, what, a couple of weeks now is like. And uh, so that's, it's all good. Being able to, uh, you know, plan and figure out the things to do, like cooking and dishes and functioning at sea. I've had trouble uh, with seasickness and, and it was nice just to get out and get used to it and figure out you can still work. Yeah, that's good. So what's been your favorite part about the trip? I don't know, I think just uh, being out in the middle of the ocean, being in the middle of nowhere. We did have a little bit of communication, but not much, so it's just nice to unhook and be out there and just see uh, nothing for as far as you can see. 
Yeah, it's great. I love that part. Thank you so much for joining us, John. It's been an absolute pleasure, as usual. My pleasure, too. Thank you so much. So, this is Chris. Hi, Chris. Hi there. Uh, he's chefing tonight. What are we having? We're having uh, black bean burgers, corn with uh, garlic and some grapes. Oh. Great. Pretty basic. Okay, so it's the uh, last night. Oh, we've got we've got about eight miles to go. I've slowed right down because uh, it's uh, four o'clock in the morning. I just want to go into Wrightsville Beach at first light. It's going to be quite tight going in there, but uh, looking forward to getting in there and uh, seeing Kim and Sienna and everybody. Uh, it's been a great trip. A bit too much motoring. No wind for the last week. But it is what it is. It's been good. Seen loads of dolphins this last couple of days. It's been fantastic. Oh, boy. <laughs> Get the coffees on. <laughs> yeah. Is he coming? I see a mass. Yeah, I see a mass too. He's almost here. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> After a week of chilling out, our good friends Hayward and Ansley helped me to sail the boat up to Hampton where we're going to keep it there for hurricane season. We're leaving Dockside here just a little while. There's Pritikin right there. He's doing some engine checks, just making sure everything's good to go. It's like a beautiful day here in Wilmington. It's a fairly easy day. It's coming out of Mesa Road, Miller. On our buddy Bridikin's boat. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> Leaving Wrightsville Beach, heading to Hampton, Virginia. Okay, so here we are coming up over here on Banks Channel. There's Wrightsville Beach over here, and we will be going out of Mason Bar Sound. We are in good hands. Hey, we're back there as first mate. Lee and Simon are furling in the head sail. We got a big squall coming in. Biggest one so far. Yeah, yeah we've heard loud thunder. Starting yeah. to get some thunder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And lightning. You pull that. Pull that okay. The joys of sailing. Coming up our last night here. Before we get to Hampton, it's a nice sunset. It's been squally all day, we just ate dinner. But hopefully the rain's gonna hold off tonight. Looking a little bit better. It's a beautiful morning. Coming into the Chesapeake Bay in Norfolk area in just a few minutes. And the sun is coming up, and it's about six o'clock in the morning here on Bridikin. There's a good sign, Bridikin coming in to harbor. Coming in the north of the dam. Here we go. We got a wave. <laughs> So we've got a couple of passages coming up and um, if you'd like to join me, the benefits of, of that will be, you'll see how to prepare for it. You'll be doing the weather routine, passage planning, also a bit of cooking at sea and just getting out there and building your miles up and getting your confidence up and seeing what it's actually like to be in open ocean. So if you want to see what passages Britikin's going to be doing in the near future, check the link below.
From me, I'm going to say goodbye, but thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and press the follow button. Bye.